Hi, everybody, and welcome to the DRF Breeding Report. I'm Dan Ullman, along with Nicole Russo. This week, we will talk about two major Kentucky Derby contenders. Of course, there were two major Kentucky Derby preps last week. Let's take a look at Mendelssohn destroying the field in the UAE Derby. And Nicole, when you talk about pedigree, Mendelssohn has it in spades. Oh, yeah. I mean, what can you say about Mendelssohn? He's by the late scat daddy who was doing so, so well with his ultimate crap with three-year-olds or of course he all his horses like playing away to thigh out but really the female family is the attraction and what helped make Mendelssohn a three million dollar yearling a half brother to four-time eclipse award champion beholder a half brother to grade one winner and prominent stallion into mischief uh this was Mendelssohn's first race on dirt in the UAE derby but he was truly bred for it with that family of course beholder did all of her damage on dirt and man what a page on this horse and unlike beholder who is known as a quirky shipper and sometimes very talented Temperamental. Mendelssohn has handled everything thrown at him thus far. He has won in Ireland. He has won in Dubai. Of course, he won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf at Del Mar last year. One of Beholder's signature races, one of her 11 grade one stakes wins, was at a mile and a quarter against boys in the Pacific Classic. So you really can't be too concerned about the distance. I guess the real worry is no UAE Derby winner has won the Kentucky Derby. How do you factor that into your handicapping, or are you saying this is just one of those other Derby rules that will fall one day, and this is a very talented horse that can do it? Well, it is a Derby rule that will probably fall someday, particularly with sort of the increased attention being given to the Kentucky Derby now with some international horses with the advent of these European and Japanese Road to the Derby series. The UAE Derby also comparatively has not been around compared to the Kentucky Derby. So it is a small statistical sample that we're working with. Mendelssohn has an advantage over some previous UAE Derby winners in the fact that He's already shipped to the United States for a race. He already knows what the American racing scene looks like, what an American stretch looks like. I would think that the bigger concern with him, with this flashy, flashy performance, that, that high-speed figure, I think the bigger concern is will he bounce off that race. He does have five weeks to, to bounce back and prepare for the Kentucky Derby, which he'll be doing at Aiden O'Brien's uh, training center in Bali Doyle. will be coming into Churchill Downs, I think, as late as possible, our market first is reported. And, of course, he earned that big buyer speed figure with the grain, perhaps, of an inside speed favoring track. But, boy, he humiliated those opponents in the UAE Derby. We talked about uh, Florida Derby winner Audible in a prior DRF breeding report. You can find that at video.drf.com. Just scroll down on the left-hand side, click on the breeding report tab. We covered Audible's pedigree after he won the Holy Bowl. But I think we should talk about the runner-up in the Florida Derby, and that is Hoff Bergen. Have we found our Belmont stake source? He's by the king of the Belmont, tap it. <laughs> he is by the king of the Belmont Tappet, and he is his broodmare sire is also a Belmont Stakes winner in Touch Gold. Uh, his damn soothing touch out of an AP Indy mare, another Belmont winner there. This horse bred for so much stamina, and he's a half to emollient who w was a multiple grade one winner on turf and synthetic, but going long, going long, going long. I think this horse wants every bit of the, the increased distance he's going to be seeing coming up here. So a lot of turf, a lot of synthetic in the family. You mentioned Emollient, another uh, half-sibling, a courtier, a stakes-winning turf rider. The second dam, though, won an off-the-turf stake, going nine furlongs on the dirt. You mentioned Aglia by AP India, Belmont stakes winner, uh, trained by the great Bill Mott. The buyer speed figures going the right way. And this horse certainly handled dirt when running into a, a more experienced audible last time out. Now, he only has three races going into the Derby. From a pedigree standpoint, I don't think you're really that concerned about the distance. Does he have enough experience to handle these horses on the first Saturday in May? Well, I, th I think that's, that is very much the key thing with this horse. Uh, the Derby, just it's such a different beast from some of these other races. It's such a crucible. You, you really need, I think, a seasoned horse. Um, 
you know, that being said, I think this horse is going the right way at the right time. Two very interesting contenders we discussed this week on the Breeding Report, certainly with classic type pedigrees. We've got three more preps coming up this Saturday. You're going to want to keep uh, it up to date at Twitter, on Twitter, at DRF Breeding. Please follow Nicole. She'll have all the latest pedigree news and notes at DRF Russo. And we'll see you next week with more pedigree updates on the DRF Breeding Report.